Hey guys, we are back with some more Warhammer 40k Death Watch. So today we are playing Bridge. Uh, Bridge is part two of Act Four, which again I don't know if that's the last act or not because last time they had me fooled. So we may have a fifth act. I don't know for sure. Anyways, um, let's see. So Tyranid forces have been disrupted for now. The kill team must advance deeper into the city to complete their ultimate objective. A river blocks their path and can only be crossed via a machine bridge. To lower the bridge, the kill team must reach its control console. Okay. So, this time around, I think we're going to go ahead and bring a Devastator. So let's swap Tellian, because he's not a you know veteran or a champion, for... Um, Incarnus here. And we'll see if he's any good. I imagine he will be. He does have his own relic bolter. Well, heavy bolter. And I think the rest of the team will leave as is. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Um, hopefully we get some level ups this time. I know we had a couple guys that were close. But yeah, let's go ahead and dive in. A single break. Use it to cross the river, then enter the catacombs. Okay, holy hell. I timed that load screen at 8 minutes, which is just unreal. Um, yeah, I think that's the longest one I've had in this game or any game, really. Um, but it looks like we need to go out this way, head down and around to here. We'll probably have the Devastator hold this. Where's the bridge actually cross? I can't tell. I imagine it's going to be across here somewhere. Um, I assume like right here because that's the control panel for it. Anyway, we'll, pro we'll probably have the Devastator hold the position while uh, the Apothecary or somebody runs over there to get it. So let's have you... Getting a lot of lag here for some reason. Let's have uh, Syndril take point since he's got a melted gun. And we already got Tyranids over there. Let's see. One, two. We're going to have to overwatch this because they are right on top of us already. And then I'd like to get you up here as well. We'll just kind of stack everybody against the entrance here. You can't hit him though. Okay. Not a very uh, impressive first turn, but gotta do what we gotta do. See, we didn't have line of sight on him, but he had line of sight on us. I don't understand how that works. So we can't shoot him, but he can shoot us. Oh, now we can shoot him? Okay. Right. Let's see. Let's have you turn the corner here. Oh, boy. Um, hmm. He's not going to be able to help out, at least not enough. So somebody's going to get beat up here. Let's have you step out of the way right there, and you're going to kill him. And that lets you step out here yeah hmm I don't know how I want to do this I'm gonna get him behind cover I think
put him here. That'll still allow him to overwatch. So anybody that wants to run up on us is going to get blasted. And then you are going to swing out this way. So he's going to take a couple shots and then move. But any any of these guys that try to run in here are going to get shot. So it should work out. All right. Forgot that these guys are like velociraptors with sniper rifles. So he's going to get wasted right there. He's got two swipes at me. But they blocked the big guy from shooting, which actually worked in my favor. Let's have you deal with him. And then him. Okay. Let's see. If you turn the corner, you can still overwatch. Or fire once. There's nobody there. Right. So, how to handle this? I'm going to move him up to there. You are going to overwatch this. You're going to overwatch across there. And you guys are both going to step forward. Yeah, we'll just step them forward one. Can't put them... Well, I could put one of them here. We'll do that. Have him help out. Wow, how he survived that is beyond me. But he's going to be stuck there. And then the gene stealer is going to poke his head out. So let's see. You've got the big gun. Why don't you handle him? Oh, you've got terrible aim. Okay. So there's that. You can deal with the gene stealer. Or maybe not. Oh, his gun overheated. Great. Oh, man. Seriously? You guys are supposed to be, like, elite. There it is. Um, let's see. Well, you can't really do anything, so why don't you just run forward? Hope nothing kills you. He can't do anything right now, so we'll just step in front of him and overwatch, I guess. And then you are going to move into this spot in overwatch. There we go. Moving very slowly, but at least we're still making some progress as we kill these guys. Okay, so nothing doing there. Gonna put you on this spot right here and have him watch this. That'll let you swing wide. And you can kill him. Okay can't overwatch though, so I'll probably just have you stay there, I guess. Let's see, I'm going to move you to here. Love you. Mm, I don't know if I want to do that. Well, let's get him over here first. And I will put Mr. Meltagun right there and have him help out. Okay. Not great, but it'll work. And then you just kind of have to sit there. That's fine. And they're not going to try anything. So, let's send the apothecary around the corner nothing over here um, we are going to need to cover this section I imagine so I don't know how I want to do that hmm <laughs> 
we'll do something like this. I am going to have him overwatch this just in case. Fairly certain they won't be spawning behind us, but we have the AP and nothing else to do with it, so we may as well. You're going to watch the corner, and you're going to watch this corner. He's going to run up and get blasted with fire, and that's it. So I'm going to have him step into here. And I don't know what that is. Oh, it's just a... Just part of the map. Now, you are probably going to be going for the objective. So I'll put him over here. Let's move you up. Uh, is that a bad idea? Let's get him to, like, right here. So I can still get around him. Move the tactical marines up. You can overwatch that. You can overwatch this. We'll have Elijah step into here. He can step into there. These two will move forward toward the objective. And then we'll just slowly work our way that way from there. Yeah, that'll work. So nothing there, okay. Let's see what's happening over here. Okay. Put him on overwatch right there. That makes this difficult because I was hoping to get these guys moving, but if he comes this way, we're going to be in trouble. So, we're going to play this a little bit cautiously here. Can you... S no, you can't. Well, then you're kind of worthless right there. What if I did something like this? Okay, that's clear. send you around like that and you can overwatch like that there we go really okay that's better so if he wants to come this way we can still hit him yeah he's gonna go that way we're gonna miss several of those going to take some swipes at my apothecary and then he'll probably step back behind there. Oh, we get a counterattack though. And yeah, he'll take one more swipe, but he's going to get stuck there now. Okay, so let's have you move there. That will allow him to get to here. I'd rather have him there, honestly. Let's see. Step you back. Because I don't want to be fighting this guy in melee. Alright, that should allow you to finish him off. And then we will step to there. I'll have you maybe turn the corner. Overwatch like this. That allows him to fall into here. And you can... Ugh, I don't know about that. Let's do this the smart way. OK, 
Okay, nothing there. So I'll step back into this spot. All right. That'll do for that turn. They are going to keep coming, but that's fine. We have that covered. Hmm. How do we want to do this? I don't know where the bridge is going to spawn. It makes this kind of difficult to set up. Let's see. One, two, shoot him, step there. And of course you failed. Should have seen that coming. Alright, well, I honestly don't know what to do with most of these guys. He's going to overwatch this way. You can't really do anything there except sit there. I'll have you guys just stay, I guess. Okay, we'll take one step onto the objective, we'll see where the bridge spawns from. Okay, over here, I guess? I don't see a bridge. Okay, where's the bridge? This is too black to see anything, but it looks like water. Hmm. I don't seem to be able to move across there anywhere. So what am I supposed to do? I mean, I'm sure I'm overthinking this and it's right in front of me but I don't see anywhere for us to advance oh okay it popped in right there for some reason let's try moving him and seeing if it does it again No. Okay, is there something else we need to activate? No. So, I don't know how I'm supposed to do that. This is kind of frustrating. Maybe it takes a couple turns? I don't know. Let's just hold this position and assume that it's going to be slowly moving into place or something. I, I don't know. We'll just do that. Oh, yeah, they're coming from behind. They should probably switch. Okay, there we go. So it's slowly, slowly working its way open. How do I want to do this? I'd like to just swap places with these guys, but I can't exactly do that. Dagmar is going to fall back and then continue to cover this. Um, I'm going to put him there, I guess. He's going to step up one. And 
and should I shoot him? Yeah, I should probably just shoot him rather than overwatch. Pretty good damage there, but not enough to put him away for good. You're going to fall in there. That's all you can really do. Um, why don't you move here and help him? In case they decide to run up on him, at least we can help him out a little bit. And then you're going to have to stay right there and overwatch that way next turn. Well, at least he blocked line of sight on the big guy. Oh, got another big guy over here. They're not using their AP very smartly, though. All he needed to do was take one step and then shoot at me. Okay, now we have another direction that we can be attacked from, so Elijah's going to need to turn and face the bridge. Alright. So he's going to have to take point that way. Hopefully you can deal with these guys. Good. have to deal with him unfortunately because he's one of the shooty guys I think I'm gonna step you over because you can't overwatch so I'm not sure how I wanna approach this let's deal with this side first so it's pretty clear what we have to do there um, One of you fall back to here. Well, that's actually moving forward, but yeah, you're going to move that way. We'll have you step back one more time and overwatch like so. You are going to step back to here and overwatch these two corners and you're going to fall in with them. Okay, so either direction they're going to get shot. We do need to keep an eye on this guy over here because he could come this way. But next turn we can fall back to here and watch that way. So if both of these guys are within reach of the bridge, then we, all, we, then we only need to worry about shooting straight backwards. Because they can only approach from in front of us. He's going to take a couple pot shots at me. Okay. Yikes. Let's have you deal with as many of these guys as you can. Okay, that was about as good as we could have hoped for there. Um, how do we want to handle this? Should probably have you kill him. And then move here. You're going to overwatch that way. And then these two are going to swing around like so. Whoops. Actually, you know what? That's fine. There.
he's gonna get an attack just because he's in an awkward spot. Pyro guy's down. Got another one incoming here, but I think we got him. Oh no, he's shooting fire at us. Wow, this is getting a little bit hairy. Hmm. Whatever. Can you kill him for me? Apparently not. There we go. Gonna have him overwatch like this so he can cover both exits on that side. You guys have a lot of shooting to do over here. And then fall back. You apparently. Okay, there we go. I was gonna say it won't let you shoot that guy right in front of you. And then you kinda need to kill him. Oh boy. I don't want to leave him where he is though. You know what, it's fine. Okay. So we've only got one overwatch. But next turn, he can do most of the shooting while he falls back and then overwatches. Or that'll happen. Okay, first thing we want to do over here is fall back. That will let you put several shots on him. Or just one. Put that guy down. And then... Hopefully you can clean up that whole mess. Cool. Now you can overwatch. You're going to flame these two unsuccessfully. I wish flamers did more of like an AoE attack than, you know, what they currently do. Um, let's have you step into that spot. You're going to fall in behind here so that you can cover this way and you can cover this way. And that'll do it. Which way are we headed again? Up there, okay. So we'll have somebody cover down this way, but we'll keep making progress up. There's another big guy walking around. I can hear him stomping. Okay, let's see. You should be able to kill him. You know what? That flamer is pretty worthless. I think we're going to go back to the melta pistol or the melta gun. Let's see. Neither of them can be hit from there. Why can't you shoot him? Oh, because your gun's overheated, right? Well, at least you're plugging that spot. Now we can overwatch over here. You're going to fall back. You're going to fall back and overwatch. It's going to take us a long time to get across this bridge. Okay. You can't hit him. You know what? Let's do this. Alright, we don't have an overwatch here, but there's nothing that can close the melee range in one turn, so we should be fine.
how he didn't kill that guy in one shot is beyond me. He will get an attack on this guy. Or not. I thought he had an attack left. Let's see if you can't kill him. Cool. So, I'm going to move... Hey, you kill him. I'm going to move you to there. And then... I think I will move... I don't know, honestly. I think for now, he's going to overwatch this way. I'll step him forward. Have him overwatch this way as well. That lets him take point over here. And then you can fall in right there. So everybody's across the bridge now. We just need to start progressing forward. We don't have anything watching behind us, so it means we need to move quick. I'll probably split these guys into two teams, send two guys up that narrow walkway. And then um, the rest through here. That would have been nice if we got a free counterattack kill right there. Would have made things a lot easier for me. Why don't you kill him? Because you're pretty worthless with that gun. That'll let you kill both of these guys. That's a bummer. Um, let's see. How do we want to handle this? I could have him pressed this way, but I think that's a bad idea. Hmm, just out of range over there. We're going to move up and shoot him, I think. One, two, one, two, three. Hmm. They're both threats. Uh, how do we want to handle this? Well, he'll get two attacks. He'll only get one. So. Wow. He's really inaccurate. We need to work on his accuracy. We'll move that way. And then I think we'll move Dagmar with him. And then you can fall into there. And that'll let him overwatch pretty much everything behind us. Like that. So if they want to come this way, he can shoot them. If they want to come that way, he can shoot them. You're going to overwatch that way. And you're going to help out with the bridge. Okay. Yeah, so if we get one swipe, he won't make it one step onto the bridge. A couple more pyro guys coming from here. Let's have you melee him. That means that you're going to get stuck there, unfortunately. Actually, let's try this. Let's see how lucky we get. And great. So you still can't kill them all. What if you flamer him? Okay. That's at least one more down. And then you can move one step. Let's have you fall in there. He'll continue to overwatch the bridge. I think we will step in here. Poke our heads in, see what's going on. Looks to be mostly clear. 
so what I will do is have him move let's see one two yeah we'll have him move out of the way over here that'll let him fill in there and then he can help overwatch this side oops wrong guy you're gonna overwatch this side no like that you are gonna overwatch this and you are gonna overwatch behind us okay so it's a little bit better coverage than we had last turn got two spawning in there Dagmar is gonna put them down Elijah is going to get a couple shots on him, but not enough to kill him. Let's have you hopefully kill that guy. Okay, that was enough. And then... Move him to here. Oh boy. That's going to be an issue. Okay, so you need to overwatch this. And how do we want to handle over here? I could step him here, take a shot, and then overwatch. Let's try that. We'll take one shot. Okay, not enough. So we'll overwatch. You know what? He's the only one here. Let's just keep shooting. Oh, God. Yeah. That was about as bad as that could have gone. Because now if he moves this way, nothing we can do about it. So, what if I do this? I think that's our only hope. You are going to fall back one more step to there. Go ahead and take one shot at him. And then overwatch the bridge. And let's see how this goes. We're inside of the objective, though. So that's something. He's going to come this way, just like I thought. Oh, he's going to shoot fire at us that way. For quite a bit of damage. Jeez. Wow, he just annihilated that guy. Get several attacks here, but he got the counterattack kill. No luck there, though. Wow, you're almost dead. We need to be careful with him. Can you please kill that guy? Thank you. Melee him. Oh, God. This is going to go so poorly. <sighs> please get the kill. Thank you. Now, we'll get you toward cover. That's going to take you three movement. Let's see. If I move you there, that will allow you... Oh, you're overheated. Okay, then we may as well just run for it. Let's put him between any potential attackers and our apothecary. I think I'll have Dagmar step this way and help cover. Because we really can't afford another attack on this guy. So Dagmar's going to step here and overwatch this. And then you only get one move. So move there and then overwatch. Because I think they can spawn over here. I don't know for sure. You know what? You've got enough health that didn't do as much damage as I thought it would. So we're going to move him so that he can help cover on our final approach. And hopefully Dagmar can hold that down. Yeah, so they're both going to come running at me. He's going to get killed. He's going to get killed, so that worked out as well as I could have hoped. The pyro guy is 
probably across the bridge or close. So, how do we want to handle this? I'm going to move you one step. You're going to make a dash for the exit. You are also going to make a dash for the exit. Let's see, Elijah, why don't you fall in there as well? I'm going to have you step here, because you can still overwatch from there. And Dagmar is also going to make a run for it. And then I'll just cover this way. So that we should be able to exit next turn. We'll take any free kills we can get, but we'll probably just get out of here as quickly as possible. There's one kill. But now our overwatches are depleted. Okay. So first things first, you get out of here. Why don't you go ahead and take that kill, because you could use the XP. And I don't see any other Tyranids, so I guess we'll just fall in. Dagmar will bring up the rear. Okay. So there we go, mission complete. No losses, although we were pretty close. The Apothecary took quite a bit of damage there. Some of that was just bad luck, and the, the Flamer is not a very effective weapon, so we're probably going to go back to uh, Melta Pistol. Or Melta, yeah, Melta Pistol. Um because that was pathetic. It couldn't even put down the regular Tyranids in one shot. And I wasn't very impressed with his accuracy either, so we're going to need to upgrade that. Same can be said about his Blood Raven, his Blood Angel's brother as well. But let's see if we have any level ups after we open this. Kalth's Arrow, okay, that's an Ultramarine exclusive weapon, so not going to do us a whole lot of good. Um... Because Tellian's the only one who can use it, and he has another Ultramarine exclusive weapon that's better. Anywho, let's go see if we have any level ups, and then we'll end the episode. Alright, let's take a look at our Space Marines. And we've got several level ups available. We'll see if there's any worth taking. Let's we'll start with Elijah. He's got 7,000 XP. Um, let's see if any of his passive traits are worth grabbing. Hmm. 30% damage mitigation. Always active. That's, I mean, that's really good. Um. That's, so far, that's only happened once, and that was on the mission we just ran to, uh, to the Apothecary, Ventress. He's the only one who's ever dropped below 50% health, I think. Um. That's also really good. Like, really, really good. How much is that? 5,000. So we can only take one. Um, the damage mitigation is pretty good. But never having to worry about an overheated plasma rifle is also pretty good. Especially since he gets a buff to his plasma damage. So I think we'll take that. And then we'll save up. It should only take us one or two missions to have enough XP to get this. But yeah, I love the passive traits because they obviously don't require you to actively use them. They're always running, which is great. Uh, Dagmar. He's got five, almost 6,000. Um, again, we won't be bothering with this because he's got the best bolter that we own. So don't need any flamer specialization. Um, again, to me that seems like a very situational sort of desperation move, and I'm not a fan of that. And that's not extremely, extremely useful. It would only help with the big guys, which I guess is sort of useful. I'll, I'll save his XP and we'll decide later, because he doesn't have enough right now. 
so we'll just save it. Next, uh, at the end of the next mission, he should have enough. Ventress has 10,000, so we can get one of his healing abilities. Um, 5% of health for each unused AP. And that heals himself, which he really could have used last mission, but I feel like healing others might be more useful, especially since it's 50%. So let's take that one. And now he's a true apothecary. Um, let's remember to uh, switch this. Yeah, we'll use this thing. Because that, that flamer was incredibly underpowered. And then I guess we'll just continue to save his XP. Or would it be worth leveling him up? Oh, it's actually fairly cheap. Let's level him up at least once. I'll take some accuracy. And then I don't think... Yeah, we don't have enough, so we'll save up from there. Um, you should have a couple level ups. Actually, did we look at these? Preparation... Deadeye shot. You know what, let's take some basic level ups first. Accuracy, I think, is going to be his primary concern, because he was missing all over the place. Let's get him to like 20%. And then we got a couple more. Let's take some crit. And that'll do it for him. He's out of XP to spend. Yeah, so I think that's it. We're going to save theirs up. Nobody else, actually Syndril, might have some. Oh, wow, yeah. What were we looking for? Killing an enemy has 20% chance. Yeah, we definitely want that. And then I think we'll take a standard level up here. He could use some accuracy, I think, because even at 70%, he missed, what, three shots in a row on that one turn? So let's take a little bit more. Looks like he can get maybe one more. No. No, he cannot. Okay. Well, that's going to do it for the level ups then. So we'll go ahead and end the episode here. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, please feel free to share my videos however you guys see fit. And I will see you guys back here for the next part of our Warhammer 40k Death Watch Let's Play.